Hi there, it's Anna Kaban coming to you from Los Angeles, California. I am the brand ambassador for Balanced Body and we're continuing with our series here, Navigating Our New Normal. Today, my guest is coming to us all the way from Cyprus. This is Benjamin Degenhart and I will toss it to him so he can give us a proper introduction. Hey there. Hi, hi Anna, thanks so much for doing this and hi everyone. Um, it's nice to be able to have a normal conversation with my peers. Um, however normal it can be. Um, my name is Benjamin Dagenhart. I'm a Pilates teacher, I'm a Pilates educator, and the founder of 360 Pilates, and the founder of March Madness. For those of you that participate this month, um, it's super awesome to see you all rallying up and pulling the community together. And yeah, I'm coming to you from Cyprus, uh, from far, far away, and excited to be talking to you, Anna. Cool, thank you so much. So, Dick, so um, Benjamin, you're in Cyprus right now. I'm not sure what the situation is there compared to Los Angeles, which is pretty locked down. Um, how are you managing the day-to-day -day stress or changes that's going on around you? Yeah, so it's, I'm sure it's the same for you as well. It changes on an hourly basis. Uh, we are in official lockdown as of yesterday, which means I have to walk around with my passport <laughs> and a permission paper uh, to state my purpose in, in walking around and, you know, just kind of trying to stay on top of the rules and regulations that change so frequently these days and, and trying to be as vigilant and alert as possible. I manage that by trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy by taking as many walks as, as possible, keeping myself safe, obviously. Um, I do my daily Pilates class. And other than that, it's honestly, it's business as usual for me. I've taken a lot of my work online in the last few years, which um, means that I can now really revel in, in the groundwork that I've laid over the last few years and really continue to be at my happy place, which is the drawing board for my online projects and, and really focus on that. And it gives me a lot of strength. It gives me a lot of hope. It gives me ways to stay afloat and um, yeah, maintain as much normalcy as is possible these days. So then do you have any tips? You've been doing this a long time being online. Do you have any tips or suggestions for instructors that are now trying to shift their business and figure out what's their new normal for the time being? It will change. Yeah, I'm not calling it the new normal just yet. I hope it's just the current normal and it will, it will change. I, I must believe in that. I, if, if there's anything I can share is to make sure that you really take care of yourself first and foremost. I think we're all right now in this frenzy of, of trying to cater to the expectation around what it is we're supposed to be doing, teaching online classes, throwing out content for free. And I think it's, it's really important for us with the same level of importance to carve out times to build a sanctuary for ourselves and really figure out what what can I learn from this opportunity of being at home and having potentially more time on my hands so that I'm not just giving and giving and giving, but also really taking care of my own needs and building a sanctuary and, and making space for self-growth and um, maybe removing some of the noise that we might perceive as being really stressful and anxiety inducing right now. I think it's, it's really important to also stay true to yourself and obviously cater to the needs of keeping your clients happy, keeping your businesses afloat. And my heart goes out to every one of you who's, who's rallying together and, and making it happen. And it's, it's so inspiring to see. Um, and my hope for everyone is that they also invest the same amount of thought and effort into taking care of themselves right now, because I think it's, it's really important that we show up as in our best self and with our strengths. And that requires time and reserve to, yeah, take care of ourselves, be good to ourselves, connect with peers, um, have water cooler conversations um, away from social media and, and just really continue to, you know, do the things that keep you going on a daily basis to avoid burnout during this very, very stressful time. That is great advice. And I have to say that I've always enjoyed drinking tea but I'm drinking tea with a whole different focus now. It's really a ritual of boiling the water. I have a you know, tea kettle that goes wee. Boiling the water, choosing which tea I, I want for this moment. There's different moods, right? There's caffeinated and not. Um, and then making that cup of tea, letting it steep and, and sitting down and enjoying it as an exercise in itself, not while I'm doing something else. For me, that's been a nice meditative kind of practice to help 
through this time, which I agree, it's not the new normal forever, but it is our current normal today. <laughs> yeah, and I, I also think it's, we're also given an opportunity to figure out, you know, how we can build positive habits right now. And, and you've just brought out a, a very beautiful example of that, to be more purposeful in your everyday actions and enjoy the potentially extra time you might have on your hands to reach out to somebody, to go inwards um, and experience it also as a positive thing and not just the thing you have to do now in order to have your days go by, but also see it as an opportunity to be purposeful and um, intentional about everything you're doing, everything you're putting out there right now. I think it's, it's hopefully also a great opportunity for us to uh, move this planet in a whole different direction. Absolutely. So Benjamin, I know you a little bit. I don't know you a lot. So is there something I may not know about you and all the people watching may not know you like to share? Absolutely. Um, I think a few people might know this about me, but I, I'm getting a lot of questions about where I am right now, how I'm doing. It seems like I'm always on the road for, for teaching work, which is true, but I think what a lot of people don't know about me is that this is kind of, this has been my new normal for a really long time. Um, about two years ago, my husband and I decided to leave New York, which was our home for over a decade behind, to, to live on the road and be global nomads and, and maybe shop around for a new place to live. And that way also create more meaningful spaces for me to be present in the places that I get to teach at, spend more time there and be not beholden by having a home base which means I'm, I'm good. Everyone who's been reaching out, um, I'm in Cyprus because I'm with family. My husband is from Cyprus originally, so we're surrounded by loved ones and um, we're living in an Airbnb as we have for the last two years. And um, yeah, the only thing that's new right now is that we don't know when we're going to leave this one. But um, th that's something that a lot of people may not know. I'm, I'm a nomad, um, kind of of homeless, I suppose. I live nowhere at the same time. That's amazing. I, I have a child and I'm kind of roped to where I live, which is great. That's, that's life. But there was a period of my life where there was so much travel involved and it was a really fun time. So you're very fortunate to have that opportunity to live that way. I'm glad you're safe though. So what about something funny we could share? Yeah. I like to end these yeah. interviews I, I, kind of a silly note. I'm sorry. Um, something funny. Um, so there's not a lot right now, but I think one thing that really amuses me a lot right now is that my husband and I are currently trying to figure out how we're going to get our next haircut. And I know that's a total luxury problem, but I have a ton of YouTube tutorials queued up um, to try and learn how to cut each other's hair with, I think the only equipment we have is a beard trimmer. So sometime in the next couple of days, or I'll just continue to wear beanies and hats for the next few months and then you know why. <laughs> I absolutely I know, know you're why. feeling me. <laughs> I'm totally feeling you. <laughs> My hair is, you know, like yours, it's short, but it's also really thick. So it doesn't just grow long, it grows out and it gets like this big mushroom head. So you may be seeing more caps on me too. Well, thanks so much for joining me today, Benjamin. It was a pleasure to spend some time with you in Cyprus. That's so cool. Um, I'm glad that you're safe and well, even more that you're surrounded by family and loved ones. And I really appreciate your time and letting us into your home. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Anna. I'm so glad you're doing this and bringing the community together. It's awesome.